Voters in Roanoke will choose a new mayor on Election Day, and this year there are three choices. The Democrat is the current vice mayor, Joe Cobb. The Republican is former mayor, David Bowers, and the Independent is current council member, Stephanie Moon Reynolds. Tomorrow night, I'll be hosting a forum with the candidates, so I went out to see what people are thinking. Do you have a, a favorite candidate yet? Um, I don't, not yet. And do you know uh, who you might vote for for mayor? Um, I haven't really done too much research into it, so I can't really say. My informal discussion with people on the Roanoke City Market showed they're not yet decided on who they want for mayor. One of the reasons the Regional Chamber and Kiwanis Club are teamed up to present the mayoral forum. Well, we're excited about this forum for a number of reasons, not the least of which is all three candidates are member of our Kiwanis Club, as is the current mayor. So with that connection, I think the least our club can do as a civic organization is help get the word out to the voters about what these candidates stand for. The issues this time around revolve around topics like airport expansion, tourism, economic development, and... I think crime could be addressed more fully. I would say the homelessness. I do have a friend of mine that she says she goes outside to pick up, the, pick up her... Um, packages or mail or what's not and she's got homeless people around her house asking her for money. Having a credible independent candidate and a Republican candidate with experience and very very good name recognition changes the dynamics of the race considerably. 10 News political analyst Ed Lynch says Roanoke tends to vote for the Democrat but he says Democrat Joe Cobb and independent Stephanie Moon Reynolds may draw from the same pool of voters, leaving the door open for the Republican David Bowers. If it's split, it doesn't even have to be split evenly. If it goes, you know, 40-30 or 30-30 or something like this, then the chance for a Republican candidate who might in any year get maybe 30 percent of the vote in Roanoke City, suddenly that 30 percent is real close to a winning margin as opposed to just being an also-round and an afterthought. And Lynch tells me that race is still way too early to call or even determine a favorite. We'll be bringing you live coverage from the forum online starting at 5 o'clock tomorrow night.